terms by principle. And yet, on this particular issue, you're turning that around and saying this is about the possible, that we can't have a fully functional a &E, therefore we shouldn't be aspiring to one. Let me tell you folks, this whole consultation process has been a sham. Yeah. The same New York Hospital Group has got concrete evidence of changes to the service in Europe being introduced by the back door before the yeah, consultation yeah. was concluded. We've got evidence of the ambulance services being told to redirect patients to other hospitals without coming to New York before the decision has been made. Only this week, I understand the young girl was knocked over by a car outside the Magnus School. She was not taken to New York, she was taken elsewhere. It took some 20 minutes for the ambulance to arrive because there wasn't one nearby. This should not be the case. We have got evidence that we can introduce to New York new services, more creative services that will return what we deserve in principle is a fully functional emergency service, one that will cater for everyone regardless of what is wrong with them because the most important thing is that when you turn up to New York accident and emergency that you're not turned away, that the service is there to provide for you. And I'm sorry but our MP has let us down badly on this. He was duped about the jobs for British workers at Staythorp and he's been duped by the Primary Care Trust over the safety of our yeah. A&E department. Twelve months ago, I sat in this very room and asked a question at a public meeting, long before this consultation was out, is New York A&E safe? And I was told without any hesitation it was 100% safe. Don't believe what you hear, the hospital is not safe in their hands. In the same edition of the advertiser that our MP reassured us that the hospital was not losing services, the front page headline was, vital blood services moved to Kings Mill. Yeah. The evidence is in front of us, we need to see it and we need to stop it happening because we deserve something better.